Hello, welcome to this evening's stitch along. Uh, and yes, we're still stitching Once Upon a Fairy Tale by Amy Stewart. And the pattern is designed by Heaven and Earth. Yes. And no, I haven't stitched anything until since last time. Well, I've stitched, I've stitched, but I haven't stitched on this uh, pattern. I've been busy with some, uh, something else. Yes. Oh, I'm just going to start stitching. Um, how about bringing forth the pattern in the pattern keeper? Yeah. So it is Thursday, the 9th of January. And um, yeah, it's in the evening. I'm kind of tired after work. I got off a little bit late and um, yeah, it's my first week uh, at my new job. I'm still in the same hospital, but as I said before, I have another position. Oh yeah, and what you see here is my mobile phone recording what I'm stitching. And I have another phone there recording me. And then I have my light so I can see what I'm stitching. And my pattern keeper here in, in front of me on my uh, surf pad, I guess. So yeah, it's my third day at my new position. So I'm dead tired, you know, from, you know, getting into all the new stuff, solving problems and planning and having so much to do, the time is enough. So it's been late evenings every day, but I kind of like it. Yeah, it's uh, an interesting job. So, um, yeah, and I just need to convince myself, you know, that other leaders and bosses and doctors are human beings. They're not scary creatures, which I see them as. So, and you know, I can't know everything from the beginning. It's learn by doing and try my best and want the best, of course. I don't want any harm to anyone, of course. And I mean, if you do mistakes, you don't do it on purpose, of course. So, yeah. Um. Oh, come on. I've been debating a lot again how to stitch this pattern you know and i know some of you have commented on the other video and i really appreciate it i really do uh it's it's like uh, it's like we're getting to know each other right and I'm getting some nice comments and, you know, I can reply back to them and yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. And I really appreciate your comments. So all the love to you guys. Yeah. Um, and one of you uh, told me, you know, stitch it as you like and true, I have to enjoy it. And that is why I'm really doubting if I should cross extreme cross-country stitch this. 
I'm really not sure because in the Sal group on Facebook, um, they're starting to show some whip pictures. Oh my God, all that detail, my God. And I'm like, I want to stitch that. Yes, I want to stitch that. And I'm not going to be able to stitch it if I, if I, you know, just stitch black, you know. So, I don't know, should I go down and back up? Yes, let's do that. Um, I'm starting to think that just because I'm like filming this and to make this these stitch along videos more fun, even for me, I'm actually thinking that maybe I should just, you know, uh, now you can't see all of it. No, you can just see here. But I have like, um, my Q snap is a 17 by 11 inch. And maybe I should just, you know, try to get the black done within that area. And then I will make up my mind if I should there choose the next color and cross, you know, extreme cross country stitch just that part at a time. And I think that would be like, oh, I'm sorry, it's my ear is itching. <laughs> uh, that would be like, could it be about eight pages and that's kind of cool to cross country stitch uh, eight pages at a time and you get all that eight done in, at, at the same time yeah and then you know you get to see some awesome stuff yeah that's really appealing to me so that's my plan for now, but I've noticed. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm leaning towards the camera. I'm really sorry. I haven't found a good setup for this. I, I want this talking to you and stitching and just instead of just showing my fingers or the needle going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, what was I thinking? talked about that and then I was leaning forward yeah I think I'm a bit stressed and tired because then I forget my words oh yeah yeah uh, I noticed that crofters I oh it's so obvious now when it's you know 2019 to 2020 and everyone is w showing you know their whip parades and talking about future plans and even talking about what plans they had last year and I think you know crofters are pretty good at making a plan and saying yeah I'm gonna do it this way and then all of a sudden not long after you've made that plan, something else is speaking to you or you're finding like a new pattern or finding another hobby or yeah, just something else to do. And you're like, yeah, I got to do that. I got to do that. I can make a new plan. <laughs> I think I think we're pretty good at not sticking to the plan. And for you who do stick to your, you know, um, rotations or, you know, sticking to that one pattern or one diamond painting or one painting or one hobby. Hey, all thumbs up for you guys, because I can't. I'm not good at that. Yeah. Okay, so let me mark off 
on my pattern keeper. Yeah, I've only stitched 0.22%. <laughs> That's not a lot, guys. That's not a lot. So I'm stitching forward to that. Yeah, so I did release a st uh, stitch and chat last week, right? Yes. And when I did that, I think I was done with my stitch along the Harry Potter one. My first letter from Hogwarts. And I think it's time for this week. I think I'm going to do a a floss tube this, this weekend and release it uh, next week. Yeah. Because I got some home. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, in the next floss tube, I will show you my progress, of course. So you'll see my Harry Potter. But this weekend, on Sunday, the other, um, I'm, as you all know, I joined the Pain Free Craft Sal 2020, and it's an alphabet which is fantasy themed. So, let's see. So, the first letter of that alphabet was released Sunday. So, I woke up in the morning. And I opened my mail right away. No, it wasn't released. So I started stitching more on the border around, which is going to, I guess, be around all the, the alphabet. Um, and it's so easy stitching, you know, it's the same pattern over and over and over again. So it's very easy, you know, you don't have to think all that much. That's, maybe that's why I'm frogging all the time, but yeah. Um, and finally, it came, letter A. And it was a Anubis pup. So A for Anubis. And it was so cute. I was like, my jaw dropped down to the table so it smacked, you know. So cute, and the colors were so nice. Blue, darks, a little bit lighter, so there was a very nice shading. And then some orange and yellow and red. So it was real popping, you know. And there were a lot of backstitching. I don't like backstitching that much, but it's like when you're diamond painting and you have tons and tons and tons of black. The black makes the picture pop. So that's why I love black, because it just makes the picture so much better. And that's often the same thing with backstitching. And, it's, and it was in this Anubis. A lot of backstitching, but it was so nice. It was so nice. And then in its eye, you were supposed to do a French knot. And I haven't really practiced that much on that. And I had some beads left from my Mill Hill kit and there were some white small beads so I put in a white bead instead and that was really nice so look look forward to see that um, progress uh, in my next floss tube so that was real nice and it just yeah it took me two days because I was off work it, it was really Sunday I was off work uh, Monday on the 6th because that's a holiday in Sweden so I was like stitching 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 went to the bathroom went out with the dogs had something to eat stitch 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 so it went fast I was done very fast so it was nice so yeah I stitched that Monday and no Sunday and Tuesday 
So I actually try to make a plan because now I have some kind of not a rotation, but I do have some projects projects I'm working on, right? So and I want to work on all of them. I want to work on my once upon a fairy tale. And I want to work on my grandmaster duck. I'm starting to miss the duck very, very much, actually. I want to finish that white so I can start putting on, because white on white uh, fabric is hard to see. And, you know, the next color is going to be a color. So, oh, it's going to be so nice. Um, yeah, so I want to work on those two. And then I have my two cells. And then, oh, I have my uh, ink circle pattern and I have my Mirabilia. And I know that the, um, yeah, the Mirabilia and the ink circle are like not huge projects. So, I know those are projects I'm going to be able to finish kind of fast if I actually put some time into it. So then I decided, I'm sorry, you're just going to see a hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to snip off the, the end where I started the thread. Um, so I'm going to... So I made the plan that I want to stitch my Mirabilia two times a week because I want to get to the beading and oh, I, they are so beautiful, the Mirabilias. Oh my God. Yeah, I got a few of the, more of those kits and patterns and they're so beautiful. They're so elegant and those dresses and I have some out of print patterns as well coming oh, I'm excited anyway um so yeah back to what I was talking about <laughs> yeah and I was thinking I need to to stitch on the cells the two cells in the weekends when I have time since now I'm working Monday to Fri Friday every week so I don't have any other, you know, days off and stuff like that. Um, so I need to set off the weekend for those. And since I'm not done with the borders in either of them, I actually need to put in some time in those. And then I was thinking, okay, so if I stitch on Mirabilia, like I stitched on her Wednesday, then it's Christmas Eve. She didn't get here in time, so. And I'm thinking I could stitch that on Fridays as well, because then I don't need to get up the next day. And I can sit up, you know, all night and stitch. So then I have the weekends are taken by the cells. And when I'm done with the borders on those two, and, you know, there's no new part of the cell released. I can, you know, spend that time on something else. And the Mirabilia on Wednesdays and Fridays. Then I have Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays left. So today is Thursday. And that's when I usually want to release my stitch and shed. So that means once upon a fairy tale. And then I'm missing my duck. So he needs a day as well. So it could have Mondays maybe. And Tuesdays will be for my squirrels of Sumatra, the ink circle. All week is planned and booked. And do you guys think I'm going to stick to that? Yeah. So. 
that's one and two. No, that was that was three. Oh damn it! Now I need to go all the way over here. That was badly planned. Um, yeah, let's just go over here. Let's do some jumping around. I don't mind that too much as long as it's not, I usually say like 10 uh, grids, 10 threads I can jump, 10 stitches. That's okay with me because that's what I would do in parking. I think I'm going to show you guys that, how I park. Um, I actually have a Randall Spangler kit, which I haven't started. And it's a kit, it's a, it's a material kit I bought from Heaven and Earth Designs. I haven't like unpacked it and I haven't started it. It's a very, very cute dragon hanging over a cup of coffee. It's called Dragon in the Morning. And I wanted to park, stitch this. It's a mini, so that's perfect. And I wanted to, I actually wanted to 10 stitch it, two threads over one on 25 count. And yeah, I'm not sure, should I do that? I don't know. But yeah, I could, you know, make a start and show you that and parking. And then I could try out parking in my Pattern Keeper app. That's a great idea, yes. But I will stick to my plan for now, for now. And why did I go into that? I don't know. Why did I start talking about that? I don't know. Oh, jumping around parking led to the, yeah, okay, yeah. Have you guys seen Modern Family? <laughs> I love that show. Phil, oh my God. Without him, you know that, oh. It's a, it's a funny show. Go watch it if you want to have some laughs. I'm just marking off on the pattern keeper. I'm starting to enjoy my Larry stand more and more and more. I'm actually considering trying to put my Once Upon a Fairy Tale on the Lowry stand. But the, oh, the, the fabric is so heavy, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work. But it might work. Hmm. Because it's very sturdy, you know. Uh, it's not a wiggling like the floor necessaire, which I'm using now. Now I'm gonna snip off these ends. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Tuesday, was it Tuesday? Mm -hmm. I think so. Tuesday, I actually stitched on my ink circles, squirrels of Sumatra. I have a hand dyed fabric. I have silk hand dyed, hand dyed, hand dyed silks in brownish variation. It's a, such a joy to stitch on, you know. It's a 28 count fabric. So I'm stitching that one over one and I'm using Gloriana silk thread. It's 
so nice. So earlier I've stitched like one, two, three threads a day on this pattern just you know to make a small progress every day and I was thinking well just let me sit uh, this evening and just stitch on this one so I think I got in was it eight or ten threads I got in quite a few threads actually so I made some progress on that and it looks so cool also another progress to look forward to on my next floss tube. So that was really nice. Yeah, and my daughter is back to school. So that's nice. We're getting back to, you know, everyday business. And how many am I going to have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's so annoying with the light like this. Uh, as fast as I turn my head, the lightning is changing near the phone. So how many stitches did I get in? Four. Yeah, so I don't know, was it was it Stitcherista who said that? I'm not sure. I listened, heard, read. No, I think it was her latest floss tube. Anyway, Stitcherista, Daniela. It must have been her, yeah. About, you know, if you should make a full cross. Because she was talking about very variegated threads. Oh, never mind. It was her anyway. So she was talking about either, you know, making a full cross. Or, you know, going one way. Like half cross one way and going back the other cross. Uh, the other way. Yeah, whatever. And um, she said that she, you know, did like a half cross one way and then the other half cross the other way back because it was easier for her, you know, to keep count. And I was actually, you know, reflecting on that and thinking about it uh, when I was stitching yesterday. And I actually think it's true what she says that it's easier somehow to have to count them you know than when you make full crosses it's more difficult to see how many you've done so that's actually a good a good th thing maybe it's actually faster maybe so yeah i think I'd stitched like that before when I when but when I started with heaven and earth I just well me yeah no I just started to do full cross because you have so much threads and I was like it does oh, it can't be that much of a difference because I think I read somewhere that um, if you don't make full crosses you know, complete the cross. For every stitch, you save some thread. You don't use that much thread if you do half. My God, do you guys understand what I mean? Yeah. I'm saying you use more thread if you finish the full cross every time I don't know if it's true but now I will do halfway like they're saying we could do I don't know why 
I followed um, a girl called, I think she was called Nicola and she didn't do YouTube, maybe she does now, but she had a blog where you could follow her stitching and you know she posted in maybe not so much in the Facebook group but on the bulletin board when uh, Heaven and Earth had a very active bulletin board she posted there a lot and I followed her blog page and she was super fast in stitching and she did like this as well so there might be something to it that you should do like this if you want to go faster. Oh yeah, and me and my daughter, we watched Jurassic Park 3. 3, not <laughs> yesterday. It was a uh, it was okay. I, I don't like uh, the second Jurassic Park 2 because they're so evil and cruel to the animals. So I don't like that one. But uh, I never watched part 3 before. So it was kind of, yeah, I liked it. It was exciting. Exciting. It was scary. And yeah. Do you, do you call it exciting? Oh, it was an exciting movie. Yes, maybe it was. Yeah, very unrealistic. Not that I'm saying that having a T-Rex running around in town is realistic. But in part three, the dinosaurs are like having a conversation and what else? They did something. I was like, no way, no. Uh -uh. It was very human-like. Oh, I can't remember what they did now, but I was like, no, stop. But yeah, it's a movie. So, yeah. What's next? Another one just the same. Okay. So yeah, but if you go like this, you get like in a trance, you have maybe an audiobook in your ear and or maybe a good series or not. It doesn't have to be very good because then you're missing a lot on your, you know, path in front of you. Maybe some YouTube, some whipping chats or something. You can just listen and you stitch and you, yeah, you can get quite a lot done actually. So let me end this one. right yeah and I have a package coming with some framing stuff so I'm actually going to try to frame my Mill Hill kit oh sorry so I'm hoping that um, I hope it's going to be good not, I hope it's not going to be too difficult because if you can do it yourself the way I've been watching on YouTube then you know you can just buy a frame you know you're it's, it feels like you're not so well you you buy a frame you don't have to pay a lot of money on for the framers and we don't have a framers in town, so we have to go to the big city. And that's like uh, an hour away with the car. And for us in Sweden, it's not very far, but it's not thing you do just any, any day. No. So you have to plan for that. And yeah, I don't know how much it would cost. I guess uh, about a hundred dollars. And I mean, imagine the things you can buy for $100. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Oh, and did I mention that I've ordered an owl forest embroidery kit? I did. So I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, and you might wonder which Mirabilia patterns I've ordered. So I'm thinking because, you know, most of the things has arrived. And I'm thinking, should I just show everything? And then my floss tubes will just be like showing the progress, you know, shorter versions. And we can look at the the old uh, cross stitch kits I have and some old finishes I have. I, I can't even remember how they look. Um, so yeah, I could do that. Or should I just, you know, show some uh, part of the haul and, you know, split it up in two? Well, maybe. So yeah. Uh, I'm ordering the kits from the Mirabilia kits. Oh, and a Nora Corbett kit. Uh, I know it's the same designer, but they're called the different names. And um, they have great service there. And, you know, good shipping, it goes fast. Very nice. One of the kits has linen, 30 count linen. I've never ever stitched on linen in my whole life. So I'm very, very curious about that. And did I say they're so beautiful? I don't know if it's a good thing. I signed up. I signed up for a stitch retreat, stitching retreat in Sweden, not too far away from where I live. It should be in the end of April. And when I signed up I paid like a fee to secure my place but I haven't heard anything you know and it's been quite a few days and I'm like did you get my uh, sign you know money and all this or is this just bogus you know you never know and I've been trying to email you know, to mail to the address you find on the website and it's like undelivered. And I'm like, okay, somebody has just fooled me. So now I've tried to mail a different mail because this retreat is connected to one of the web, web stores or online stores. So I hope I'm getting, I will get a response from her. But if this is not bogus, it's going to be fucking awesome. Yes. Yes. Those, I think, the stitching retreats videos on YouTube, I think they're on my absolute favorite movies well they're in the top anyway and you know i mentioned to my husband just days before this came up on facebook this retreat for signing up and i'm like why can't we have these things in sweden you know and there it came yep so let's 
across our fingers and toes and hope it's not bogus. Oh, this is so nice to just sit here and stitch. But I think the time is running. And I usually, you know, I don't have much more to say. So I will just, how many do I? One, one, two, three, four. Four is one, two, three. So I should go one. So yeah, let me mark this off. Like that. All right, I think I actually got to stitch, what, three threads? Yeah, not that much, but Anyway, I will leave it at this and bid you all a good night and a good weekend. And if you guys have any questions or any other comments, please leave them down below. And you know the drill, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.